We're going to take a really quick look at some of the data profiling capability of Datamartist. We'll look at a value distribution profile. So I've got some data here I've pulled in from SQL Server. Uh, you can see the dashed line around the import block. That means that we're only looking at a preview sample right now. Let's go ahead and pull all the data in. There's only about 40,000 rows. Um, and we've got a birth date field here. It might be interesting to know what the distribution of the ages uh, for this data is. So let's calculate an age field. I'm going to drag a calculate block onto the canvas and connect that up. I'm going to add a new calculated column and use this formula. Uh, use today's date minus the birth date, divide by 365, trunk it to get rid of the decimal. There's our age. We'll call that new field age. Uh, and let's just let's drag that up. We'll put it near the birth date field here. In terms of column order, let's take a look. So now we've got our age set up go up to the toolbar and let's do a value distribution explorer on age and what this will do is count all the values and put them into equal size buckets there we can see pretty straightforward it looks like a two uh, two normal distributions combined together there except that this is very strange there's a very long uh, tail on this side and what we can do is drag across you can select any amount you want let's drag across and take a look at that tail um, that is kind of strange. Let's take a look at those underlying rows. We can drill right down. And when we do, of course, we find out that we've got a number of birth dates, which seem to be very early. And we're going to have to dig a little bit deeper into where this data is coming from, which is the whole point of data profiling, to find the issues early. Give Datamartist a try with your own data by going to datamartist.com and downloading the 30-day free trial.